I'm a little bit nervous about the uh, repeating crossbows for the uh, what you call them, uh, dark elves. They may be completely overpowered. Anyway, let's take a look at the empire. We have up in the air. We have Boris Toddbringer. Whoa, where is he? Alrighty, we have him with all of his really cool abilities. We have him with his Rune Fang, which is a regen item. We have him with Crush the Weak, which is a debuff if the enemy has a lower low leadership. We Get have Encourage, we have Foe Seeker, and Stand Your Ground. On the ground for Cavalry, we have the Royal Ockdorf Griffites. We have Knights of the Blazing Sun. We have a Jade Wizard on a little pony, Hipster on a Horse. We have him with Earthblood, Life Bloom, and Arcane Conduit. For range, we have one unit of double experience normal free company militia. For the main line, we have one, two, three, four units of spears, two units of flagellants. One of the swords is a one unit of swordsmen in the middle, which are the Sigmar Sons. In the back lines, we have two units of great swords. Also up in the air with the uh, Boris, we have one Empire Captain to on a Pegasus. Alrighty, are you back, uh, Ninja? I am back. Did you just go over the Empire completely? I did. Alright, then for the Greenskins chat, we have a Orc Warboss in the air from Fist Take, and we have an Orc Shaman, and he is on ground. He's got a foot. Is this sneaky fucking bastard? Um, He's on foot, and he's got a foot of Gork, and here we go. We got a unit of Goblin Wolf Riders and a unit of Goblin Wolf Riders Manji Marauders Regiment of Renown. Two units of Orc Boy Boy Biggins, three units of Black Orcs, two units of Orc Biggins, and three units of Goblin Archers, one of them being Regiment of Renown as well. And two units in the Vanguarded Forest. We got the Warlords Boys and eight Peak Loonies. Vanguard deployed. So a very interesting strategy from Kea. Uh, Sorry, Greenskins. I feel like Empire is a bit more um, regular, yeah. I, th I would say, right? I think the Empire Captain is an interesting choice because you usually never see that. And here's the thing, right? Empire has superior flying, so he can chase down the war bus all day. But it looks like he doesn't even see that. He's just going for the range. But yeah. in a big head-on crash, I think Greenskins have, have a little bit favored here. Also, look at the back lines. Look at these gunners. They're about to get charged by these... Uh, Wolf Riders. Oh no, don't shoot them, charge! What are you doing? Yeah, don't don't take the battle! No, what's he doing? Why would you take the battle there? You gotta get in there! Of course, though, it is free company militia, actually, so maybe that's why he doesn't want to take the battle. But why would you even go and try and range them down then, right? They're not armored, it's not worth it. And in the front line, chat, we do have the center meeting, and it looks like orcs are just fighting all over the place. Some of the orcs are just the goblins got kinda into melee, which wasn't the greatest idea because they lost a lot of health and needed to run back. But other than that, it looks like orcs are pretty much just holding with some archers doing some decent damage. The Knights of the charge. Blazing Sun are taking a ton of damage too, and now they're being ambushed! Oh! oh. Awesome. This is what you love That's to see. Very also, deadly. Also, this orc war boss is getting off scot free. He went all the way around the enemy lines and he just avoided the flying uh, lords. Yeah, I think the Empire just got too annoyed by chasing down and feels that he needs to be in the center, right? He could cha he could charge the Orc Shaman here and actually just quickly route him, but oh, it looks like he's opting to stop the Archers, which is not a bad idea because they are killing and they shattered the Knights of the Blazing Sun. In the back, the Warboss is engaging to help out his uh, war boy Biggins, but again, against those uh, Royal Outdoor Griffites, I don't know how good of an idea that is. Yeah, it's very dangerous sending them in there alone to Royal Aldorf Griffites, especially with the health. I feel like it would have been a bad decision from the Orc War Bus if the Empire's uh, flying units weren't occupied elsewhere, right? Indeed. Also, that Orc Shaman just got killed. Like, he did nothing. Yeah, Wait. I think he got maybe down one. Here we go, but that was pretty much it. He kind of charged into the front line, so he wasn't doing much, but over here... We got a Sigma Sun just completely idle. Look at this, 750 completely idle when it could be doing something. He may hold it in reserve, but I'm not really sure that's the case. And oh, Orc Warbus is maybe gonna fly down. Oh! oh! He's taking the fight to the Empire here. And oh, oh, he's doing a lot of He's eating Boris X. Wow. 
And right next to him are the Warlord's boys with that arm with that armor sundering. And that's gonna rout Boris. Holy cow. Yeah, Boris just got around there. That war boss just completely destroyed him. A quick charge followed by an attack, and he got eaten alive. And oh yeah, he's gotta he's gotta run for it now. And yeah, he's oh he shattered, and there we go, chat. The Empire has fallen to the might of the Greenskins. And GG, first game going to Fistic over Cyanide Sex. Indeed. That battle did not go the way I thought it would. Like Yeah, I think it would have gone into the um favor of the Empire looking at the uh, match up uh, and the armies, but I feel like kind of uh, not really utilizing your air, air units properly, right? Because you kept cha chain sorry charging after the old war boss, but you couldn't quite catch him. And then the demigriffs just kind of got caught by the war boss and an anti-large unit. And yeah. yeah, maybe a little bit of lazy charges and look at the Sigma Suns. Almost full health after the whole game. They yeah. didn't do much because they were poorly micro. What a waste, what a waste. <laughs> also, we saw him bringing Orc Biggins. When do you like to bring Biggins versus Savage Orc Biggins? Ah, uh, never. <laughs> In Savage Orc's current state, I do not find a place for the Orc Biggins, I think. Yeah. So, even against Archers, is the damage resistance better than the armor? See, I think like the armor can be pretty useful in that case, and of course all Biggins are cheaper, and they may have a larger anti-large bonus, I'm not sure, but Savage Orcs are just good in any other scenario except when under Archer Fire, right? Yeah, that's true. So it's hard to try and justify them over the Biggins.